What is going on guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of 970 Bass Fishing. Today we're out here at Pirate Lake. The weather's been real weird, funky lately. It's really warm right now. So right now, today I'm just going to kind of focus on just one tactic. I'm going to be flipping the edges of the grass right over here. I'm going to walk over there, just flip the edges right there, see if there's anything in there waiting to ambush, anything that's kind of relating to structure right now because they did move up. And they were getting ready and then it got really cold and the snow came so i don't know if they went all the way back or if they're just tucked up somewhere relating to some sort of structure or something see how shallow they are see how deep they are wh wherever they're at i'm just gonna flip this jig around all over right here this is just a little micro jig a little finesse jig football head style and it's just got the uh, Havoc Rocket Craw trailer on the back to give it that crawfish imitation. But I'll, I'll keep with you guys as we go point by point. See kind of what's going on. Let you guys know what I'm feeling, what I'm not feeling. If we catch a fish, if we don't, we're going to try though. That's all you can do, fellas. That's all you can do. Without talking too much, let's get after it and go catch some fish. Peace. All right, guys, here we are. With this little finesse jig, I'm just going to be pitching it on the edges of the grass, in the grass, just kind of wherever. I'm going to just try to cover some water. I'm going to run this thing slow enough that these fish will bite. A lot of grass. Sometimes if you get by, like, in the grass you can just bounce it up and down like this and sometimes you'll entice a fish to come up in those weeds and see what's making all that ruckus but there is a lot of grass but that's kind of what we're after so, there's another grass line it goes out from shore about I don't know five feet six feet depending on where you're at and these fish, a lot of the times, especially in the summertime, they come out and they just hide right here in these weeds. And I did see a frog when I came up here too, so that's telling me that there's going to be a good, a good frog system going on around here this year. So we'll try to find the right time to catch them on a frog. It is March. The weather went forwards and then it went backwards again. But... I don't think it should affect anything too much. We'll find one out here today, folks. I can feel it. I'm trying to feel the bottom too as I go, guys. If I come across a rock bed or some random rocks or a flat spot or clearing anything that's not what's normal, I like to just keep my bait there for just, I don't know, a ten, 10 more seconds or so and drag it in there nice and slow. Just run it through that clearing in case something hasn't seen that yet. And that usually helps a lot. Helps get a lot of strikes. You just gotta really pay attention and feel what you're fishing. That's still, that's still dirt shallow. I know there's a better spot just up the way that's not as shallow. But it drops off, if you know what I mean. So the weeds are still shallow just like this because it's just over here. But it does drop off. This side over here I'm pretty sure just stays pretty flat for the most part. But hey, you gotta try. In order to find these fish, you gotta search. We're gonna go to that deeper spot, guys. I got a feeling that there's some fish over there. Over there. This out here, though, if this place stays this shallow this year, this is gonna be frog heaven. Frog heaven. And if the 
this doesn't work guys we're gonna still flip these weeds and stuff but I'm gonna switch to a little zoom trick worm on a shaky head just change up that action change up the profile a little bit make it a little smaller a little more enticing we'll see you know just what these fish want we'll find them All right, guys, we're going to switch to the shaky head trick worm. We're going to try that tactic out, change the profile. All right, guys, this is the hook I like to use. It's just a little uh, DNL tackle, 3 16 ounce shaky head, but it's got the twist lock, and I like the twist lock a lot better. Keeps your baits on for a little bit longer. I'll just take this here trick worm out of the bag. And I just take it up and just sometimes I'll pinch the heads off just a little bit, give it some of that meat right there. Stick it in there, lock it down. And I like to put the flat part to the back and then just kind of measure down your hook where you want to stab it in. Stab it in about right there. Pull it out. I like to stab a little piece of that plastic back in there just like that. Keep it straight. And that's it guys. That is it. Throw it out there and just let it sink. Then I'll just jump it. Jump it, jump it. Alright folks, we're going to make a few more casts right here. Before we head on out of here. Oh yeah guys. Just caught one in the grass. Running at me. Oh gosh. Stay on. Stay pinned. Holy crap. Yes, yes, yes. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Right in the side of the lip, right in the grass. It's going to be one of my last casts. And I got him. I got one, guys. Yes, look at that fish. Man, that's a big fish. Awesome, freaking awesome. I love that last cast stuff right there on the jig, guys, right in the grass. He was tucked up in those weeds. Let's get a quick weight. Because I like to weigh them for you guys. Let's see what we're looking at here. Two fourteen, two ounces away from three pounds. Two fourteen. Awesome freaking fish. It wasn't the jig actually, guys. It was this right here, folks. The zoom trick worm. He wanted that bait bad. He came up and smoked it. All right, guys. We're gonna release this fish right now. See you later, buddy. There he goes. Swimming off. Yes! We did it! We caught another fish! In this weird weather. He just came up and destroyed this watermelon zoom trick worm, guys.
They're right there, shallow, right here. Literally right in front of me, right here. Well, at least that's where that one was. I'm gonna call it a day today. Uh, it was a pretty good day. I did catch a fish, so that made it all the better. I was only able to be out here only probably an hour, I think. I don't even know if you guys can see me. I'm just running a quick outro while I still got a little bit of light left. Really, there's none, but hopefully you can see me a little bit. The bait that I used, guys, it was just a 3 16 ounce shaky head and the Zoom Trick Worm in watermelon color. And I just let it sink, and then I just bounce it, bounce it, kind of rip it through the weeds a little bit, change it up, finally got bit. That fish came right out of like probably a foot and a half of water. Really, really shallow. I think I just found him cruising in there. Landed in front of his face and he hit it. But other than that, guys, that's it. I was just, you know, using, I used Sankos, Texas rigs, the jig for a little bit. Uh, I just love that bait. I love shaky heads. Bouncing shaky heads, ripping shaky heads through the grass. If you guys are having a tough time getting bit, just try it out. You know, cast it along grass lines or inside of grass lines. Let it sit there. You can even dead stick it for a little while if you want. It's all up to you. It's all preference. And all up to the fish, basically. But just bounce it up. Give it one bounce. Let it sink again. Do that for a cast. And then do a two, two bounce. Let it sink again. Do that for a cast. I don't know. Just change it up. Change it up till you get bit, and then stick with it until you stop getting bit, then keep changing it up. That's all I was doing today. Adapt and survive. But other than that, guys, that's all I got. I'm going to stop mumbling. If you like the video, if you like the channel, check out the rest of the videos. Do me a favor, smash that subscribe button for me. Hit that, give me a like, and leave a comment down below. You know, if you didn't like the video, let me know why. If you did like the video, I don't know, throw a comment down there. We'll all talk. I usually respond to all you guys. I know I read all my comments and everything like that, but I'm losing light fast. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thanks for watching another exciting episode of 970 Bass Fishing. Get out there and catch some fish, guys. As always, stay hooked. Peace.